Hi Math Lovers and uh, welcome to another video from our channel. This time we have selected a number theory problem, an equation, and uh, this has been taken from High School Math Olympiad of Estonia, which, uh, so this is a question from the year 2004. It is a nice and easy uh, number problem, number theory problem, but I guess it is worth uh, having a look at because uh, uh, we can see during this solution some uh, some steps that we take to, to solve uh, similar problems in math competitions if you're interested in them. Of course, if you want to, to have a try of this problem, please pause this video right now and uh, at the end let's see and let's compare our solutions and please write down in the comments if you have any other way to solve this problem. So without further ado, let's read the problem statement. Uh, which says, find all pairs of real numbers x and, well, this is y, but I will read it as y, so please uh, allow me that. Find all pairs of real numbers x and y, such that x plus 6 divided by y plus 13 divided by x times y is equal to 4 minus y divided by x. So, on the first look, this would be, let's say, an equation with uh, two unknowns and only one equation. So, of course, there might be some tricks involved in order to solve this problem. So, let's see the solution of this problem. Uh, I have covered the solution, as always, in order for us to go through it step by step together. And as always, we start by making some simple observation regarding the problem, such that x times y cannot be equal to 0, because if x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0, the question has an undetermined, undetermined form and does not have uh, any solution. After this simple observation, we go on in the reasoning toward the solution of the problem. And uh, as I said, the fact that we are searching for solutions in the set of real numbers means that there might be a closed form of the equation which limits the number of solutions and makes this problem suitable for an Olympia. So, uh, let's multiply both uh, sides of our given equation with x, y, x times y, and we will get that x times x plus 6 plus 13 is equal to y times 4 minus y. By expanding uh, the factors on both uh, sides of the equation, we will have that x squared plus 6x plus 13 is equal to 4y minus y squared. Let's call this the equation number 1. Then we uh, we will bring everything on this equation, number one, we will bring everything on the left side and we will have that x squared plus 6x plus 13 plus y squared minus 4y is equal to zero. We now try to do a very known, a very well known technique which is called complete the square. So we should complete the square of x and y and we will have that x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. If we factorize and complete the squares for both these factors, we will have that x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 0. So this is the closed form that we were uh, talking about uh, initially. After we have uh, come to this uh, form of the equation, now it is much easier to do our reasoning for the final solution. So, in the equation number two, both terms of the left hand side, these full squares, are always greater or equal to zero. So, in order that to have a parity between the left hand side and the right hand side, we uh, all both these factors must be equal to zero because they are always positive or at their minimum they are zero. So in order to have the parity be to be between the sides of this equation, we should have that x plus 3 is equal to zero and y minus 2 is equal to zero. This will give the only solution of the problem that x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to 2. So we can finally say that the only solution in the set of real numbers of the given equation is the pair minus 3, 2. We directly 
substitute these values in the given equation and we uh, can see that this is indeed a solution to the equation. Please let me let me know in the comments if you have any other for uh, any other solution to this problem, so uh, we can make a comparison with the one that I just presented. Thank you for your time and see you on our next videos. Bye.